I didn't believe this when I heard it. In fact, I thought that you were making it up. Because you know how you like to make things bigger than they are, and hype is the way of the world here in Southern California quite often. There's this restaurant called Coyote. Yes. You know the story. Yeah, I read it last June in the mm. Times. Women were going there. If they were overdue, there, the word got around. Pregnant it women. Does. Pregnant women. I mean, it's not overdue. like library books. It's no, pregnant I, women, yes. <laughs> <laughs> library books. Oh, no, pregnant women were going there if they were overdue. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chef Ledoux, or is it Ledoux? Ledoux. Ledoux was serving this salad. And yes. these women had this phenomenon happen to them. They would go into labor very soon mm -hmm. after eating this salad and very relieved. So gradually, the trail up to the restaurant, Coyote Restaurant, you began. You go to the restaurant if, you, if the baby hasn't been delivered yet, and you eat the salad. As a matter of fact, in the audience right now, Sherry Werner and uh, Jackie Geiger. Yes. At, well, you can tell it worked there, didn't it? Look you, yeah. Hi, how are you, Sherry? How's Sherry. Jackie? Good morning. Sherry. We're going to check back with them then? Uh, no, we'll talk to them right talk now. Talk to them now, Sherry. How long after you, well, well, did you, why did you go to the restaurant, first of all? I was 11 days overdue with Alyssa. She's my second. And yes. I was desperate. And you'd heard it through the paper? I'd heard about it through the paper. My sister called me. She said, we're going to get a salad the week before. And I said, no, no, my first one was sick. I need to wait. So I waited. And the next weekend, I went. How long between the time you ate the salad and you delivered? Um, I ate the salad at 7 o'clock on a Friday night, went All into right. labor 5.30 Saturday morning, but I didn't deliver for till Sunday morning. <laughs> Long okay. labor. And, and, and uh, Linda, what, Linda, what's your, your story? story? Yeah. Um, I ate the salad when I was a week overdue. I ate it on a Friday night at about 8 and started going into labor at 2 a.m. Saturday morning. Oh, and, and by the way, by the way, these are not rent-a-babies. These are really yours. <laughs> yes. Those are really yours. Now, so you're believers, right? Absolutely. absolutely. Okay. There's all more right. to You think this is all we have? Let's go over here. Oh, no, I, told the, him, I told him before we started the show. I knocked the juice over again. The I can't juice. Move uh, the orange with juice. With us are two women who, who are overdue, ready to have their babies. Also, the owner of Coyote is with us. Yes. So uh, let us meet. Over here, you are, where's that microphone? You are? Linda Schaefer. Hi, Linda. And I'm Susie Newman. When were you due? Saturday. When were you due? I'm due next week. Oh, you want a little uh, she wants to get a okay. And by the way, just in case this really works, <laughs> say hello, Nurse Shirley. Okay, Hi. Jess, we have things standing by. Here is Ed Ledoux. He is the man from Coyote. Good morning, Ed. How are Good you? Morning. Good morning, Ed. What, what's the secret here? And is this folk myth? Do you believe this really works? I believe it's a, a true urban myth. Mm -hmm. I think we've stumbled upon a natural home remedy up at Coyote that uh, just helps overdue women along a uh, very well, gentle push it, into it, labor. It's a specific salad. Yes, it is. It's the romaine watercress salad, and I'm tossing it up right now. It's very simple, romaine, watercress, gorgonzola cheese, and some chopped walnuts. Is there a secret in here that we don't know about? It's, the secret is probably in our dressing. And what, we really, have what is a, that uh, secret, Ed? Well, I, I really couldn't tell you. It wouldn't gonna, be a secret. We're going to learn later on, aren't we, Ed? I think we're, well, we're going to break your fingers. It's, <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a very simple balsamic basil vinaigrette right. with a few coyote seasonings and herbs, and I think it'll uh, it's just the right mm -hmm. little push the women like. Right. You can start feeding them. Okay. Throughout the program, we will cut to the women to see if you get the initial... Are you all trained? You know, the pant, breathe. Can I be your coach? Really? Uh, and this is certified nurse, so you know everything about delivery, don't you? <laughs> right. Show, show us the breathing pattern. Show us the breathing, breathing pattern. Oh, I'd rather have it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Let it for See, this is not a joke tour. This is a very serious business for right. Nurse Shirley. By the way, we're going to have an ambulance standing by, but we didn't have it in the budget, so Gus is there with his Jeep. If anything's coming up, the Jeep is ready, ready to we'll go. We'll take you outside. Here, all right, now we're going to. Yeah, all right. Uh, this is a little uh, show. Are you eating? Are you <laughs> Any stirrings yet? Do I need to bring my stopwatch and the ice? <laughs> not, not yet. Okay, coming up in just a moment, the beautiful Shauna Reed and more. This is Live in L.A. Good. You know, you know, Ed, the chef said there's really a combination thing. He serves garlic rolls, too. So I think with the garlic yes. and the balsamic vinegar, there's an explosion inside, and the babies say, get me is out of here. Is that what Meanwhile, these women are saying, how much more of the salad do I have to eat? They <laughs> love the salad to begin with, Ed. But uh, again, if you've just uh, tuned in, uh, supposedly, if you eat the particular salad at Coyote Restaurant and you are pregnant and overdue, overdue. you have the baby like that, we're trying to prove this with these women who are ready to have that magical <laughs> moment, uh, maybe right here. And we have a uh, truly trained nurse standing by. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, our, our next guest is, uh, there's our truly trained nurse. I have the 
right thing. If you've been right. watching, you know <laughs> that, that uh, Susie and Linda are uh, uh, both uh, just about due to have their babies. They are eating the famed Coyote restaurant salad with the what in it, Ed? Romaine and water. Ed Ledoux yes. from the restaurant. When you eat the salad, you immediately have to go and have the baby. <laughs> Right now, they want dessert first, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> we demand what? dessert and coffee. Are we having any uh, some movements? Yeah, a we were discussing. How much time between uh, each? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Three days between each. Uh, <laughs> okay, we will check with you because we figure by maybe tomorrow. How's it work, Ed? By tomorrow? Oh, probably in a few hours. I think they need a little more. Oh. <laughs> Ed, 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 I'm, I'm getting sick of the salad. I haven't eaten any. So hey, what is tomorrow, the secret ingredient again? It's the what? It's coyote's balsamic basil vinaigrette. Okay, with well, a few garlic you, rolls and you got it going, right? We'll it. check right. on these women tomorrow on the program. Uh, we have some great back-to-school bargains. We're going to save you a lot of money, so tune in for that. Good yeah. luck to both of you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. <laughs> I'm going to add an anti-birth control bagel. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.